halftime at Oracle Arena. Baron Davis greeting the return of Shaquille O'Neal to the Western Conference, although he is still yet to make his son's debut. Coming soon at a Phoenix Sun Theater near you. Halftime here in Oakland. Hi again, everyone, with Jeff Van Gundy, Mike Breen on hand. We promised a lot of points. We received a lot of points. A typical game, the up-tempo slowed down a little bit more in the second. But we're starting to see a special young player, Monte Ellis, right from high school to the NBA, most improved last year. He's taken the next step this year, having a great first half tonight. Well, again, he's playing in a freewheeling Don Nelson system, and he's making the most of it. He's getting the ball to the rim off pick and rolls here. A great finish by warding off Stoudemire with his body, and then a back cut along the baseline from Baron Davis. Well, you want to take the layup, and you go under on the pick and roll. He is knocking down the mid-range jump shot, and then again, you get confused on your pick and roll coverage. With his burst and speed, he can get it all the way to the basket. And getting him instruction from uh, Jim Clark, the official. Meanwhile, since Shaquille O'Neal was traded to Phoenix, Amari Stoudemire is on an unbelievable tear the last three and a half games. Well, Stoudemire has the whole package. He's improved his jump shot. He can take you off the dribble, and he can overpower smaller players. Here, just bullying Steven Jackson out of the way to finish. And then again, just shooting over the top of the smaller Jackson in the post, then facing him up, driving by him. No help by any Golden State player. And then they tried to front him to prevent him from catching the pass over the top from Nash with a dunk. 13.6 boards, but three fouls as we check in with Lisa Salters. Well, Mike, Mike D'Antoni said that he was pleased with how his team played in the second half. He said, at least we are getting back and taking away those layups. We know that they're going to get those three-pointers, and that's fine. We can't just try to take away everything and end up taking away nothing. I then asked him about Monte Ellis. I said, the kid looks like an all-star. How do you slow him down? He said, look at his numbers the last several games. I don't know if anyone can slow this kid down right now. Well, he has been on an amazing tear, Lisa. And as she talked about what D'Antoni spoke of, you feel both these teams, they can play some pretty good defense. Now, the first quarter, neither team did. But when they put their minds to it, they're not bad defensive teams. Well, Golden State does it by disrupting offense with steals, deflections. They're a turnover-forcing team, which fuels their offense. Nice feed. Ellis, the assist to Barnes. Meanwhile, the Warriors starting the second half with Austin Crozier. And Al Harrington, who started the game, will come off the bench here in the third quarter. I think Nelly gets nervous when he plays the same lineup two games in a row or two halves in a row. <laughs> he has done it his way. There's no question. Stoudemire gets inside in the easy two. Steven Jackson thought they should have been a charge. When Bobby Knight won his 900th game, that's the song they played. And when Nelly goes into the Hall of Fame, they should play that same song. He should be in the Hall of Fame. I have no idea why this guy with this many wins and so innovative has not yet been recognized with a Hall of Fame berth. Well, you get the feeling it's going to happen at some point. Meanwhile, you know who else is up this year? Davis misses Bell the rebound. Chris Mullen is eligible. Didn't make it last year. As D.L. gets inside and a blocking foul. And a technical foul call on Baron Davis. So some free throws coming up for Phoenix. When you look at Chris Mullins' career as a great college player, then as a two-time Olympian, and there's Chris. Oh, he doesn't look good in the tie. Take off the tie, Chris. <laughs> Get in your shorts. What, what a great lefty shooter. And then, you know, he goes five straight years with 25 per games or more. I think he deserves to get in the Hall of Fame. And an Olympian on the original Dream Team. There you see. Of course, so much of it here in Golden State. And this was one of the game's best shooters for a good stretch. Two gold medals. And he's the man that brought Don Nelson back. Nelson and Mullen with such a strong relationship. And the second free throw, no good. Well, Run TMC was the precursor to whatever you call Run something of this group, however you're going to nickname them. Don Nelson has brought consistently exciting basketball to the Bay Area and consistent winning basketball. And really, Don Nelson in the last X amount of years has been the only guy to be able to get it done here in Golden State. Second all-time in wins behind Lenny Wilkins. Uh, Steven Jackson can connect. Ellis the rebound. He's got seven rebounds. Davis. And Baron Davis. Now four of ten from the field. 
Diaw. Nash. Diaw, nice feet inside. Hill blocked by Crozier. And it's going to be Phoenix ball. Terrific defensive play from Austin Crozier. Oh, if you're Austin Crozier, you got to start talking trash right now. <laughs> that may never happen again in your NBA career. Get that weak stuff out of here. Austin Crozier, the rejector. <laughs> Crozier getting the start in the second half. Alley up to Stoudemire. Stripped and taken by Matt Barnes. And that's Golden State defense. Not blocking shots normally above the rim, but deflecting them down low. Davis wide open. They're 4 of 14 from down 10. As much as they can miss 10 in a row, they can hit 10 in a row. That's where they're, why you're never out of a game against Golden State, and they're not out of a game against you. Grant Hill has been shooting the ball well tonight. Now 7 of 12 from the field. He's just so happy to be out there and healthy. And then back on a team that has a chance to contend for a championship. You talk about guys who had stretches in their career where they were one of the best in the game. Davis. Chance of Let's Go Warriors breaks out here at Oracle Arena. Bell can't connect. And sometimes in this fast-paced game, Phoenix overlooks Amari Stoudemire. At times, he's got to get the ball in the post and overpower these smaller players. Ellis on a nice speed from Jackson. You said this earlier. He's skinny. Wiry is probably a better way to describe it, but he's strong for a little guy. Yeah, there's weight room strength, and then there's functional strength. Count it and a foul. As Ellis has functional strength. I bet you if you put him in a weight room and you get him on a bench press, he would not be impressive. But as far as functional strength, being able to absorb contact and still finish, which is what is important, Ellis has functional strength. Every year just a little bit better as Hill hits the free throw for Monte Ellis. Two-point Golden State lead. Davis. Nash a three. Knocks it down. And a timeout quickly called by Don Nelson as Phoenix takes a one-point lead after six straight points. He's not happy now. Well, you have to pick up Steve Nash above the three-point line in transition. He is a deadly pull-up three-point shooter.